Hitting the road and getting started with RV living is exciting. I remember when we got our first RV, I just wanted to go outside to where it was parked and just sit in it. And then while sitting in it, I would begin to just dream of all of the places that we would go and see and places that would take us, or even just thinking about how fun it would be to head out for the weekend. RV life has been one of the best things that's happened to our family, but it also comes with a price tag. So if you're considering jumping into RV living, you're gonna wanna watch this video to the end to be able to understand some of the hidden costs that can and will creep up with RV living and travel, so stay tuned. My name is Charity and along with my husband Ben, our dog, our two cats, we've been traveling the US in our RV for five years now and we have learned a ton along the way. So we created this channel to share not only our experiences but also some of our fails, RV tips, tricks, storage, organization hacks, fun places to visit, things to do, and some of the best food along the way. So if any of that sounds like something you're interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button to be notified when we release a new video every week. Now, as I mentioned, we try to share all aspects of RV life, including the fails and the downsides. And we've realized that there are some hidden costs that people do not talk about often. And for sure, you're not gonna see that van lifer you follow on Instagram posting about any of these things because, well, we're just going to discuss the things that not everybody wants to discuss because it doesn't portray the picture perfect life. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, RV living is amazing, but it has upsides and downsides. And this channel, well, we're not gonna be superficial. We're gonna share realities, including all of it, up and down. And I've got a helpful hint towards the end on a great way we found to save on some costs. So you're gonna wanna be sure to stick around for some of those hints. Now, the first hidden cost that most people who jump into RV living don't always think about is maintenance and repairs. Now, just like any vehicle, RVs require regular maintenance and repairs to keep them running smoothly. Now, this can include things like oil changes and transmission services for drivable RVs and wheel bearing packing or brake pad replacement for travel trailers and fifth wheels. Tires also need to be replaced from time to time on all RVs. Now, because RVs are larger and more complex than just your standard vehicle or trailer, repairs and maintenance are gonna cost you quite a bit more. And if you have a diesel pusher motorhome like we do, be ready to spend some big bucks when you take it in for service. We've learned that. Now, number two cost is insurance. Now, RV insurance can be a cost a lot of people don't always think about. And depending upon how often you use your RV, what type of RV you have, and other factors such as business use, the cost of insurance and what type of coverage that you're going to need can vary greatly. Now, you may also need additional coverage if your RV is your primary residence. Did want to let you know that we have limited edition Experiences Over Things shirts available just for the summer of 2023. You have to get your orders in by April the 13th. There'll be a link in the description below. They'll arrive at the beginning of May, just in time for summer. Back to the video. Hidden cost number three is storage. Now, RVs are obviously too big to fit in most people's driveways, and not to mention many HOAs prohibit parking an RV in the neighborhood, which means you're going to need to find a place to store your RV when you're not using it. Now, storage fees can add up quickly, especially if you live in an area where storage is in high demand. And if you wanna have covered parking or indoor storage for your RV, be ready to shell out even more. Hidden cost number four is fuel. Now, RVs are not known for their fuel efficiency, so you can expect to spend significantly more on fuel. And if you're towing an RV with a truck, be prepared to see a dip in that fuel economy while you're towing. Additionally, driving an RV or towing an RV can be more stressful than when you're just driving a car, which means you're gonna probably take more breaks and these stops tend to start racking up costs like miscellaneous snacks or fast food and convenience items. Cost number five, campground fees. Unless you're planning on boondocking only, 
you are going to need to pay for campsites from time to time or RV parks. Now, some RV parks can be quite expensive, especially if they offer amenities like swimming pools and laundry facilities or restaurants. One way we found to keep these costs down, and here's an insider tip, is by using places like state parks or campsites found on recreation.gov. However, one thing with a lot of these campsites is they do book up fairly quickly. So what if you wanna go camping, say this weekend, but all the sites at the state park are booked up? Well, we've had this happen to us several times, and this is where you can set up a sold out search in a service called RV, and RV will automatically book that campground for you when a cancellation happens, even while you sleep. RV is an online travel agency for RVers and campers, and we've been using RV for close to a year now, and we have used the sold out search feature a ton to secure campsites. We've had amazing success with securing last minute reservations or reservations for extremely popular destinations that book up. And since we love to share about products and services we use and love ourselves, we have partnered with RV for a 10% discount for our viewers. Now this is an exclusive discount you're not gonna find anywhere else, so be sure to visit gratefulglamper.com forward slash RV. I'll also put the link in the description below. We've learned RV's really our best shot to get the spot when it comes to state parks. Now, hidden cost number six is mobile internet. Why many RV and campgrounds offer free Wi-Fi, these services are spotty and unreliable, and we found this out the hard way in our very first few weeks on the road. You will need to invest in your own internet service to stay connected on the road. The same goes if you wanna have TV service. Be prepared to pay for satellite TV service if you wanna stay entertained on the road that way. Now, number seven is laundry. Not a lot of people think about this. Some RVs come with a washer and dryer, but the majority do not. This means you're gonna to need to use laundry facilities at campgrounds or laundry mats, which can be expensive and time consuming. So start saving those quarters now. Overall, why RV ownership can be a great way to explore the country and enjoy the outdoors, it's important to consider all of the hidden costs before purchasing an RV and then hitting the road. Have you seen RV Unplugged? Ben and I had a chance to be contestants on the very first season one of RV Unplugged. Watch along as we compete against other RVers to win the grand prize of $10,000. It was one of the most challenging and rewarding experiences of our RV life yet. And we know that you're going to love watching along and seeing who's going to win. Check it out on YouTube at RV Unplugged. There'll be a link in the description below where you can get started in watching all the episodes for season one. I'm gonna put a video right up here about our personal costs when it came to RV living last year. I think some of what this cost us might actually surprise you. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.